Howdy again, everyone. We are right back where we left off, actually. Funny enough, this is only like a half hour later after the last recording. There is a high probability uh, likelihood that this will be interrupted by my dad, who is downstairs cooking. I moved to my bedroom for a better recording area. Uh, yeah, hopefully it'll work out and I can just record within the safety of my room and not be interrupted or have anything rude happen to me, you know, I can just take it easy. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna revisit that area at some point. There's almost certainly diamonds to be found there, but I don't particularly care about finding diamonds right now. Taking a leap that great forward. Oh. Hey, look at that morning. That's fantastic timing, actually. Holy shit. I want to. Well, it's doing it, actually. I'm just going to make my roof a little higher. A little more pleasant to live here. I won't be living here forever, obviously. I am eventually actually going to make a house. But, uh, yeah. Or I might turn this place into a home. Who knows? Look at that sunrise. That blocky sunrise. It's actually kind of nice with the stars and stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah. Line out this here. I don't think this will be a. Uh, why we'll be here very long. Oh boy. Sorry if the zombies are loud on your guys' end. Actually, hold on. I'll fix that right now. Turn it down to like 80. That should help a little bit. I can imagine it's probably a little loud for anyone watching, but, um, as is the zombies in this game, they're kind of asses. Okay. Oh, that was the perfect amount. I didn't even calculate that. I just threw in some wood and then clicked to get my wooden planks and bam. That's awesome. Okay, so, put my stuff in here. Actually, I'm going to plant some more trees. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, where am I going to put the lava? <laughs> yeah, because I kind of want a spot to like throw out any items I don't want. Okay, that might be unsafe, though. I don't think I'm going to put it there. Um. Yeah, I'm thinking I might put it back here. For maximum safety. For any of you who are new to Minecraft and don't understand what I'm talking about, you'll see in a moment what I'm talking about. Okay. Bam, look at that. Okay. Let me think. Oh, actually, uh, what's that thing called again? You use it for making stone materials. It's really helpful. Probably can't make it yet. Yeah, I don't think I'm advanced enough to make it yet. Screw it, I'll just do this the classic way then. Just combine all these in here and bam. Now then. Put that away. I'm thinking, yeah, let's do some slabs instead. That's what I want to do here. Bam. I don't know. Oh, actually, perfect. There. 
So I don't accidentally walk in or anything, but I can still throw out my items in there. Cool. And just for aesthetic sake there. Alrighty. <coughs> I tried to cough away from the microphone. Sorry if that still caught wind of my cough and it sounded nasty. Um Deciding what do I want to write? What do I want to do? I should prioritize and making a bed first. That will be the best for me to do. Oh, check this out. That's why. That's why shields are helpful. And look at that. He's dead. And now, actually, I will save the bones just in case I encounter a dog. I mean, there's a spruce biome right there, so. This is literally the perfect area for like a let's play. Not even like seriously, this is like actually perfect for like a start off because it's a plains biome. There's tons of trees and stuff, and like there's a bumblebee, so I can make like a bee farm if I want. That is, if there are other bees around here, which I imagine yes, there probably most likely are. And uh, yeah, let's just enjoy this. And, uh, yeah. Actually, after this episode ends, I'm gonna try and locate, relocate where my spawn is. I know it's in this area. Or better yet, if I die um, in this playthrough and respawn in my uh, area, I will go there. Like if I respawn the area where I originally spawned in this world, then I will write it down on a piece of paper so I always know where my spawn is. I figure that is probably the most clever thing to do. I always try and make a point of uh, making my house near where I actually spawn in the world. So if I... So like... How do I explain this? So if I die in game, I spawn relatively close near my house. I know what you're thinking, but Josh, you already respawned through your bed. Why not pick a place far away? Well, I like to go on adventures and bring my bed with me to like reset my spawn point. So if at any point I were to like place my bed, but then I chose to broke it, break it and like bring it with me, I wouldn't be completely screwed, you know? So if I die, I'll at least spawn near where my actual original house is. Because, yeah. That's a massive crutch for me, using beds in-game. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> as lame as that sounds, I use it for the spawn point thing. Because it is very helpful. I'm thinking I'm going to craft a uh, classic, classic Minecraft bench. I mean, bed. Oh, or I'll do something cute, actually. Hold on. How much does this... Okay. Red dye. Perfect. <laughs> I really need to focus on making a uh, farm. And I swear I am going to do it. I'm not just going to keep saying that. I am going to actually do it. I'm just going to... I already have my water bucket. I should make some more though. Okay. I believe these give you white dye, I think. Shit. No, they don't. Okay. Um. <laughs> Damn. Uh. I don't think any flowers actually give you white dye. You just have to use the uh, bone meal to make it. Which I don't particularly feel like doing. But I realize I'm probably going to have to. Um, yeah. Because I kind of want to save the bones in case I encounter a dog, as I've already said. What about this? Like, damn it. Okay, well, I guess I might just make a red bed. You know what? Screw it. Screw it, man. God damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Ba -dow -bow. Ba -dow -bow. Oh shit, I didn't need to make that much. Oh, okay. 
Well, I guess I have three extra pink dyes now. Cool. Now I will relocate my spawn point to down here for now so I can actually set up a farm so I don't starve to death. Um, yeah. I'm thinking I'll put it by the nice little pond side here. This is a nice little area. This is cute. Um, yeah. Actually, this might be a perfect uh, spot to do it. I can make my bed real quick. Bam. Bam. There. That's nice. That's a cute bed. Okay, so, uh. You know what? I'll put it, some torches here. Because, yeah, why not? Um. Screw it. You know what? I'm taking a risk here, but I'm going to turn up my render distance. I know it's probably going to make the game worse, but I. I kind of want to see farther. You know? I'm tired of seeing the foggy distance. Now this isn't too bad. This is actually alright. Okay, there's enough pigs in this area. I'm pretty confident I can kill some of them for food. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I need food. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's really laggy now. See, that's what I'm talking about. And that was just a pig, so imagine in actual combat how scary and shitty that would be. In the middle of fighting a mob and then I can't do anything. Because it's so laggy. And I am going to tame a horse eventually, but I'm only going to do that when I actually have a saddle on me. Because I don't currently. Fortunately, this game still doesn't let you craft those, so you have to actually find them in dungeons and stuff. I ain't exploring the swamp biome. At least not yet. There are some cows, that is good. Because cows, aside from chickens, are like the most helpful mob to farm, in my opinion. Ah, uh, yeah. So let's, let's, let's just freaking go. Let's just freaking do it, guys. Let's head back home and sleep in our bed. Is it already 5.30? Holy shit, this recording's actually been going on that long? Damn, dude. That's epic. Okay, never mind, I think I see another area where I might make my house. Yeah, you know what? Right up on that hill. I'm gonna do it right up on that hill. That's beautiful. Oh, look at that respawn point set. Okay. Sleep in the bed, I swear to good. Advancement made, sweet dreams. Okay, so I'm gonna cook up this pork. God damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Wow, wow, wow. The cartoon. <laughs> A cartoon noise and something smells bad or like it's always the noise they use to go wow Johnny Tess, they play like loud ass whip sound effects. Johnny, eat my meatloaf. Ugh, fuck you, Dad. And it's just like wow 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 plays like sound effects. Like eat my meatloaf and Brussels sprouts and it goes wow and like cartoonishly sticks out his tongue and then like his eyes bulge out of his head. <laughs> Talking about Johnny Test got me excited, sorry. <laughs> it's a childhood cartoon of mine that I fully and well realize is just absolute hot garbage. Okay. <laughs> I think that's the first time I actually said the F word <laughs> in this playthrough and it was a Johnny Test joke, so way to go Josh. You, uh, you lost your swearing virginity in this let's play to making a Johnny Test joke. Way to go. Hey! Ho! Oh. 
That's lucky. I think my luck's beginning to turn. I, th I think the game's game's telling me something. The game's being nice to me. It's like here's some iron, dude, and I'm like, thank you, game. Cool. That's ten iron. That's pretty good. It's pretty solid. I can now if my stone sword breaks, I can upgrade, and make an iron one. Okay. Okay, this area is awesome. Dude, yeah, I'm gonna build my house here. This is gorgeous. This is actually so nice. Oh, there's a zombie and a creeper down there. So there's also an instant mine. Just all the more reason to build a house here. Oh, damn, it feels good to be a gangster. I have this song stuck in my head, so... Okay... It's a bunch of cows... Bunch of sheep... Okay... This is so peaceful, I don't even know what commentary to give right now. I don't think there even is anything to say, I'm just enjoying myself. This is so nice. Because <laughs> nothing overly exciting is happening, this is just a really peaceful game. Just a nice game about blocks and building and adventure. And creativity and stuff, it's just really cute. Or, I could build my house up here, but then I just have to travel up and down constantly, which would be really annoying. But, that would be sick as hell, you can't deny that. That would actually be really cool. Oh, I see pumpkins down there. <gasps> that means... Oh, I can already make a pumpkin farm. Hell yeah. I can make pumpkin pie. Because I have sugar cane. I got eggs, you know. Okay, so we got a birch forest. We got more and more plains biomes. And, uh... We got a spruce wood biome in that direction. Got my spawn in that direction. This is pretty alright. Um, yeah. Also, this is, like, the perfect resolution for my game, actually. Because, like, I can see farther. But it's also not, like, deadly laggy. I'm probably going to jinx that, but, like, it's nice. Oh, and I totally did. Now it's lagging. Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay. Let's get these pumpkins. Oh my god, there's a lot of cows out here. Ooh, a mountain biome? And a floating tree. It's stuff like that that makes me wish I could actually edit my videos. Or had like a MacBook or a desktop or something capable of doing that. Because if so, right now I'd zoom in on that tree and play that funny song. And it goes... Hold on, I'll try and... I'll try and find it if I can. At, just pausing this for a moment. <laughs> okay, literally, if, if, this might be it. Hold on. Okay, no, this is not it. At least I don't think so. Oh, this actually... Okay, I think I found it. Hold on. I did. I would zoom in and this would play. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna say like what floating tree what and then you'd go haha that was funny hoo hoo hee hee and then I'd be like yay and then and then life would be good but I but I can't do that I hear witches and spiders and all sorts of evil scary shit right now let's dig straight down to it let's get killed hey guys I hear you oh god well this might very well be my end here because I'm going to try and make contact with these mobs. Hi there. How could he hit me from there? What? <laughs> what? How could... What? How could he hit me from there? What? Oh my gosh. It's a laughing witch. It's a laughing bitch. Oh shit. No, he sees me. Run, 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 run. Oh god, no, oh, fuck you. Die, go away, leave me alone. You're a bully, you're a bully, leave me alone. You suck. Leave me alone. Ah, go away, no, 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 he's gonna drink stuff and throw stuff at me. Oh god, now I'm on fire, fuck, this is not good. Shit, go away, leave me alone. Leave me alone. This sucks. Oh no, I'm actually probably gonna fucking die right now. Um. Okay, die. Leave me alone. I hate witches. <laughs> and I immediately regret this. Like, so much. Fuck you, witch. Okay. Just eat and hope you don't die. I don't know how long poison lasts for. <laughs> oh, balls. This is why witches suck. Literally, I don't... I think poison just goes away until after it, like, gets you down to a half heart. That's only when it goes away. That's really ratchet as shit, and Mojang needs to fix that. Witches are the only mob I strongly, strongly, strongly have a distaste for in the Minecraft universe because they fucking suck. Because of the poison bottles. If they threw, like, potions of harming at you, that would be better. But no, nah, they throw really, really overpowered poisons at you and it just damages you, like, for forever. And I mean that literally forever. You can continuously eat food and it'll repeatedly damage you. It only goes away once, like, well, once it gets you down to a half heart. It's literally broken. And I have always hated it and I always will. Oh, God. That really grinds my fucking gears. Okay. Oh, yay, more rotten flesh. Hopefully I can make it back home safely. I think this is going to be my first night uh, outdoors. Getting attacked. Oh, dear God. Oh, fuck. Oh, shite. This is going to really suck. I wish... It tells you how much damage uh, items do. I wish it would tell you how much food restores. That would be really cool. They've made lots of improvements to this game, but that would be one thing that would be really cool that they haven't done. Okay. Cool. Oh, shit. Another one. Oh, a lot of them. Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay. This is no longer fun. I was having fun. Fucking leave me alone, please. Okay, I died. And that's what I'm talking about. 
do you guys think I should just turn on keep inventory? Because that's really, really unfair. Like, that's really stupid. Because he froze there. There's nothing I could have done. Like, regardless of what I did there, I would have been screwed. Because you can't detect when they're going to detonate when they're frozen. You can't see where they are because they're frozen. Like, you can't hit them when they're frozen in that spot. Because they're still actually acting in real time and like doing their own thing just you can't like see it and the game isn't registering it so something could be damaging you while it's frozen and it's not actually in that spot where it's shown i'm only explaining this because i have one person who's very special to me likely watching this right now and he doesn't know a lot about video games at least ones like this in particular are computer ones where leg is a thing that's real that exists um yeah so just to explain to you a uh, lovely person watching this um yeah it's ratchet as fuck <laughs> and there's nothing oh god now it's now it's leggy <coughs> okay i might switch over to bedrock oh no this isn't nice. This is really mean. This is really lay. This is really not fun right now. How laggy it is. Jeez, leave me alone. Stop. Fuck. Okay, where's... Jesus, it's so laggy. It's right here? No, wait. That is a long way down. Nope. It was right here, I believe. Shit. I'm just going to pause it and lower this back down to 8 again, because that's really annoying. I really can't stand that. Okay. There's a good chance right now that I may actually lose all my items. Uh, okay, there they are. Hopefully there aren't any more dumbass creepers down here. Um, yeah. Well... That blows. Guess I could have been worse. If you're later in the game, you lose way more uh, stuff. That's gravel. This cave is a hellhole. Why did I think of coming down here? I literally gained nothing out of that. I just died and got frustrated. That's all I got out of that. That was really stupid of me to decide to come down here. You yeah, know, to self to anyone playing this game for the first time, don't do that. Don't do what I did. Just take it easy, and don't bother to get yourself into trouble. Because that was not worth it. I just lost experience points and stressed out over nothing. It's really stupid. Don't do stupid shit like that. But, uh, yeah. Anyhow, I'm gonna quit bullshitting and actually get around to making that farm now. Is that another creeper? Oh my god, what is with this cave and creepers? Holy shit. No, you know what? No, screw you. I'm actually gonna try and kill this creeper. Screw you, creeper. Give me gunpowder. That's bullshit. <laughs> I'm gonna at least get something out of this. I'm not gonna... Just go down here for... Yeah, this is a creeper cave. What the hell? This is like a cave for creepers. Like a bear cave, except they all hibernate down here. Dude, that is, that is crazy! Okay. Are there just certain caves where they spawn more, or what? That is really insane. Okay. Okay. Oh, screw it. Might as well get the iron. Like I said, if I came down here, I might as well actually get something out of it. Not just have it be completely pointless. So I got some gunpowder. And some iron. And two arrows and two bones. Cool. That's alright, actually. You know what? Screw it. I'll get the cool, too. And as I said, you can never have too much cool. Always collect cool whenever you find it. 
which I know I've ran past a lot, but I was just speaking in a different kind of sense. Like, don't literally collect it every time you see it. But if you see a big vein like this and you have the time, just be like, you know what, sure, mine it. Excuse me, more, because it can help you significantly. Okay. Just make my way back up. Yeah, I'm gonna need a map. <laughs> By that, I mean I'm gonna start a farm, begin building my house, and just go from there. Because I need a stable food source and a map and like some more helpful tools before I actually really do anything in this game. Before I truly make any progress. Now I'm still deciding do I want to build my house up there or do I just want to take it easy and like, I don't know, build it down here. I kind of feel like doing something cool, not gonna lie. I feel like for one if I build my house from a high point that might be better. Like, in terms of exploration, like, it'll be easier to find my house than it will be just walking around down here in Flatland. Because you can look up and, like, see it in, like, a giant pillar. I did a really crappy job of explaining that, but you, you get it. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. And I'm actually seriously going to make a point of finding some dogs, because dogs are awesome to have in this game. So are cats, but that's kind of out of the realm of possibility right now for us, so I'm just going to take it easy. Okay. Yeah, so let's let's just get started. So these are the basics, basically. You just you make a hole, and you start hoeing around. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm thinking screw it. Let's just do it here. This will be easy. I already have the sugar cane planted over there, so this is already kind of an optimal area to do some farming. Uh, yeah. I need some sand too, so this will be double helpful. Okay. Okay, the shield is a little annoying there, so I'm just going to take that off for farming. There, there's an achievement. And it only gets better from here on out. With the more stuff you get. Okay. I just let that grow. Alrighty. You know what? I'm actually gonna try and do some mob mob hunting right now. I'm gonna run back to my little cave house and get my furnaces and stuff and items from the chest
We're gonna try and kill some spiders. That way I can get uh, the strings and I can make a fishing rod and go fishing. Because fishing is one of my favorite things in this game because you can get a lot out of it. It is very helpful. This episode may also be up to about 40 minutes, same as the last one. So, uh, yeah. Hmm. That could look cool, building a house in here, but I don't know. Okay. Let's freaking smelt some stuff, guys. Okay. Let's grab what I need and get out. Okay, I may not be able to carry all too much. Um... Crap. Shit, of course there's one wood plank left. Okay, um... Hmm... Yeah, and the doors, honestly. I feel like door would be helpful. What can I get rid of here? Maybe that, yeah. No. I don't really think I need any of this stuff in here. Yeah. What can I get rid of here, though? Shit. <laughs> oh, perfect. I hear a spider. Actually, you know what? No, I'll keep these eggs for now. Shit, what should I get rid of? I'm not getting rid of the gravel, because that's helpful for a flint. So, like... Maybe the oak sapling. Saplings are really easy to get. And you know what? The stone hoe. Okay. There. Guten tuck. Let's find this spider, dude. Shit. Oh, you're right here. Hey there. <gasps> Perfect. He dropped two string, that's exactly what I need. Okay, now, now that rule I made of uh, keeping items until I'm done using them, that was a lie. That's kind of dumb and I'm not going to do that actually. Uh, instead, I will go out and try and kill some more mobs. Yeah. Uh, screw it. Hello! Hello there! Oh, I forgot to equip my uh, shield. So I just took unnecessary damage. Okay. Now I changed my mind. I'm turning up the brightness just a bit because it's kind of annoying. I like seeing what I'm doing. Oh, hi there. Oh, okay. Okay, that's one thing. They've made mobs more difficult to fight, I've noticed. Like, the baby zombies move in zigzags like that, which makes them significantly more difficult to hit. They already were before, but now it's even more difficult. <laughs> sorry, that was right in the fucking microphone. I'm actually sorry. I did not mean to do that. My cough sneak up on me. Okay. Oh, spider! I require your string. Please quit with that shit. Yeah, see? They make them more difficult to fight. It's such fucking bullshit. They used to be more fun to fight. Okay, that's a lie. They're more fun to fight now, but they're really, really tough. Because they fucking move around so much, and they're really tough to hit. Please die. Go away. Thank you. Did he, he dropped iron? Holy shit, okay, thanks, dude. You have to do that for me, for little old me. 
Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Cunt. <laughs> okay. This is the most relaxed I'm going to be in a Let's Play. I'm still swearing, but like, funny enough, this is the most relaxed I'm ever going to be, I think, playing a game on this channel. Aside from Pokemon. Look at that, I'm already back at 11 experience points. That's awesome. <gasps> yes! I ate it and it didn't give me the uh, hunger defect. Woot woot. Realistically, I could just keep playing like that, but I'm not going to, obviously. I'm gonna try and actually play normally. Ah, uh, shitty aim. Oh, I could have attacked him. Oh, I could have attacked him both times. How did that work? That's such bullshit. Okay. Keep calm, Josh. Keep calm. So I could have attacked him twice. And then blocked correctly the last time and then killed him. But instead, I... Okay, this shield apparently doesn't actually fucking do anything. So don't craft yourself a shield. Just attack them and just kill them. There you go. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hey there, Buster. How's it going? Back from school? Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Can I just hold up my shield here and defend myself? I'm gonna turn up my brightness. Like my computer brightness, not the brightness that you can actually see. Okay, holding up my shield. Making sure nothing can attack me. That is three skeletons down there. Holy shit. That's four of them, actually. Oh, yeah, they aim more off to the side. That's really fucking scummy. That's really shitty. I purposefully programmed it like that. Ooh, I have a bow and arrow. Hell yeah. Oh! <gasps> I wonder, can I get a bunch of them to, like, attack each other? This is going to be really stupid of me, but I'm going to try. Oh, you killed the chicken, you asshole. Shoot him. Yeah, do it, do it. Come on. Kill each other. Okay, good. They are now killing each other. Hell yeah. I am such a badass, I just get my enemies to kill each other for me. Look at that. Didn't have to do anything. Okay, that's a lie. I had to do some stuff, but not a lot. Did he drop anything? No, he didn't. Okay. Hi there. That didn't work. Okay. Shit. Fuck, I cannot die like this right now. Fuck this shit. Fuck you. Okay, I'm running. Fuck. Oh god, the zombies are. Fuck you, zombie. Go away. There. Hi. Great, now it's raining on me and I'm starving. Cool. Oh right, it's raining. That means mobs will stay alive for now. That's worse. Okay, shit. Um, well, we're in quite the predicament. Four hearts. All right.
Honestly, that's the best way to take out skeletons, in my opinion, is just, f just fucking snipe them. Because they're gigantic assholes. Look at that shit! See how fucking far he shot me away from? That's so stupid. That's what I'm talking about. Just kill them whenever you get the chance. Like, snipe them. And these fuckers. Fuck. Dude. Don't, don't, don't snipe creepers or zombies. Snipe uh, spiders and skeletons. Because when spiders are, are all up in your face, it's difficult to hit them because they don't quit fucking bouncing around. And, uh, yeah. Could have sworn I saw another spider over here, but whatever. Guess it's gone now. Okay, shit. Oh, I have eight bones. I'm actually going to replenish myself on food. And then check that out again. Actually, that's a lie. First, I'm gonna kill some pigs. Because <laughs> easy food, and I don't have potatoes or carrots right now to farm them anyway, so. And there's so many here that I don't really care. I'm not damaging the pig population. Okay. Oh, I, th I think a, a skeleton just despawned in front of us. That was cool. You're staying right next to this sheep and it just poof disappeared. That was epic. I should have grabbed the furnaces. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. That's only like 16 cobblestone worth. That's not anything to get worried about. My lava, however, I am going back for that at some point. Okay, the farm is doing pretty good. Uh, let's craft. Actually, let's put that away. Now let's make a chest. Okay, now I can finally store all my stuff. Bam, 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 bam. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Oh, yeah, that, that, that. Uh, actually, I'll keep that right now. Alright, alright. And, uh... Shit. I guess, yeah, I don't need a bunch of the cobblestone. It's silly. Okay. I'm gonna go fishing. Let's do some fishing. Actually, let's end the episode. I think that's important to do right now. Because it is 6.06. This is a long episode. See you guys.